When Paul and Barnabas were in Lystra, a preaching about the good news, God did miraculous things through them by the power of the Holy Spirit, so much so that some people thought that they were gods. Now, Paul and Barnabas, of course, immediately corrected them, told them the truth, and encouraged the people to turn to the one true living God who created them. But despite their preaching and the miraculous signs that they were doing, there were some who were driven with so much rage that they tried to kill Paul. Our reading for today is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 14, verses 19 through 28. A Paul stoned at Lystra. But Jews came from Antioch and Iconium, and having persuaded the crowds, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered about him, he rose up and entered the city. And on the next day, he went on with Barnabas to Derb. When they had, when they had preached the gospel to that city, and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, encouraging them to continue in the faith, and saying that through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. And when they had appointed elders for them in every church, with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord in whom they had believed. Paul and Barnabas returned to Antioch in Syria. Then they passed through Pisidia and came to Pamphylia. And when they had spoken the word in Perga, they went down to Italia. And from there they sailed to Antioch where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had fulfilled. And when they arrived and gathered the church together, they declared all that God had done with them and how he had, entered, how he had opened a door of faith to the Gentiles. And they remained no little time with the disciples." Telling people the good news about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is what God wants us to do. It is what the church has been called to do in the Great Commission. And that's exactly what Paul was doing in places like Antioch, Iconium, Lystra, and Derb. Today, we need to be reminded of that because I think that many congregations today have lost their focus. In our text, we see what happened to Paul. He was stoned, dragged out of the city, and left for dead. But when the disciples gathered about him, he rose up and continued to preach the gospel because God was working through him. Uh, God did great things through Paul long ago. And today, he still wants to do great things through us. But how many Christians... Uh, how many of the Lord's servants are willing to do what God has called us to do? It is my prayer that through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit that uh, God would lead us, uh, guide us, and direct us uh, so that we can accomplish his will, his mission here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's blessings.